Bullying has become a crisis in our schools. We've seen several cases of it in the news in just the last couple weeks. And despite all the focus on anti-bullying, it's not going away. In fact, a recent KDKA non-scientific survey found that nearly 70% of parents say their child has been bullied. I talked with a mother whose son was victimized, as well as a parenting expert, about what we can all do. The video is disturbing. It's hard to think about kids hurting other kids, and sometimes verbal assaults can be even worse. It started off with him just, just like calling him names or picking on him. Um, in the cafeteria, he would throw things at him. Dana Zimniak says her son Evan was bullied in sixth grade at West Allegheny Middle School. He had anxiety, ADHD, and high functioning autism and didn't always understand social cues. Dana tried to get help for him, but the bullying only continued. And when Evan was stabbed with a pencil on the bus, he told her he'd had enough. He's like, I don't feel like I want to live anymore, Mommy. I just don't want to live. Um, and he was 12. Evan died three years ago. His death ruled accidental. Dana says other students told her Evan was dared to do the choking game. I feel that when these kids were still picking on him and they dared him to it, um, he felt a peer pressure and he tried it, not knowing that he was going to die. Dana wants to get the word out to schools to take bullying seriously and to parents to fight for their kids' safety. Parenting expert Dr. Debbie Gilboa, or Dr. G, says we can all start by talking with our kids, especially middle schoolers. Your kids are seeing bullying, for sure. Middle schools are the age where kids are experimenting with social power. In fact, in our survey, we found that nearly a third of bullied kids are 11 to 13 years old. People from 139 school districts took part in our unscientific survey on the KDKA Facebook page. According to their answers, 89% of kids were bullied in school, 57% on the bus, half in the lunchroom, and 28% on social media. Social media has taken bullying from a problem when I'm with other kids to a 24-7 issue. Those we surveyed reported almost all of the bullying was verbal and half was also physical. Dana says she tried to work with the school but didn't get the results her son needed. And that's apparently quite common. 84% of the people who took our survey felt their school district did not do enough. Half thought about leaving the district and some did. If schools could solve this alone, it would be solved by now. It takes parents and schools and social initiatives that teach kindness and empathy and inclusion to start to help with this problem. So what can parents do? If I could go back and do it all over again, I would have contacted the um, superintendent immediately. Um, I also would have gotten an educational lawyer. Dana suggests if the bullying doesn't stop, use all the resources you can. Police, therapists, legislators. Dana hopes her son's life makes a difference and prevents other kids from being bullied. She says it starts with kids helping other kids. Go to your teacher, go to the principal, and tell them what you saw. You know, stick up for that other child who maybe can't stick up for themselves. Now, we contacted the West Allegheny School District for comment, and they provided this statement. The district continues to collaborate with local and national organizations, as well as students, parents, and community members to provide impactful anti-bullying programs that ensure all students are educated in a safe and supportive school culture. Now, in addition to schools' efforts to stop bullying, parents can help, too. And we have a link to resources with more on how to talk to your kids about preventing, stopping, and handling bullying. It's at kdka.com slash links. Mm, it can be so difficult for parents mm -hmm. hearing their kids come it home is. with these stories. But what, what happens in a case where a parent is being told something and the other child involved is telling their parents something different, it can come down to one child's word against another. It really does. And Dr. G says keeping good records is really going to help with resolving anything. Record your child if they're willing to. Talking about what's happening. Take screenshots. 
all of those are going to be helpful. And always take it seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, we have two web extras where you can get a lot more information. There are parent monitoring devices. I have one called Bark. We talked to another family who's using that and also police about monitoring for any kind of bullying online, especially. And then we also talked with local municipalities who are trying to hold parents accountable if their child bullies another child by actually finding them. So you'll see those stories and all of these resources at KDKA.com. All right.